Provide hand and nail care to the resident. Introduction. Hand and nail care is performed often in a healthcare setting. This skill consists of soaking, washing, rinsing, drying, and applying lotion to the hand, as well as cleaning under the nails and filing rough edges. For the state test, you will only be required to perform nail care on one hand. The evaluator will have the patient sitting in a chair by the side of the bed. The care plan may indicate which hand you should perform nail care on. Pay close attention to the care plan. Gloves are optional for this skill. If the patient's skin is intact, you do not need to wear gloves. If the patient has cuts, rashes, wounds, or any other abnormalities, you will need gloves. Because you often do not know if the patient has any skin issues until you begin cleaning, it is best to wear gloves when performing this skill. You will need to place a barrier on the bedside table before getting the basin of water to soak the patient's hand. This prevents water from dripping onto the floor if water spills, making the floor slippery. It also provides a clean place for you to put your clean supplies. To begin this skill, you will fill a basin with water to soak the patient's hand. You may use either a bath basin or an emesis basin for this skill. When filling the basin with water, use a paper towel to turn the faucet on and off. Your hands will be clean and the faucet is dirty and check the water temperature with the inside of your wrist. The water should feel warm, but not hot. Since this is a washing skill, you will need to ask the patient to check the water temperature before you put their hand in the basin to make sure the water is comfortable for the patient. After the patient has soaked their hand, you will remove the hand to wash it. You cannot add soap to the basin, only to the washcloth you are using to clean the hand. You will then return the hand to the basin for rinsing. Remove the hand after rinsing and set it on the towel to dry. You will use an orange stick to clean under the patient's nails. Use the pointed end if the patient has very short nails. Use the slanted end under the nails if the patient has longer nails. After cleaning under the nails, you will file any rough edges that you feel. It is important to file in one direction only, or you may split the patient's nail down the middle. Run your thumb along the edge of each nail and feel for rough edges. If you find them, use an emery board and file from the outer edge toward the middle of the nail. Keeping a patient's nails clean and smooth is a safety concern. If the nails are ragged and dirty, the patient can scratch themselves, healthcare workers, or other patients, which can cause an infection when the dirt from under the nails enters the new wound. Apply lotion to the hands after cleaning and filing the nails. Warm the lotion in your hands and smooth over all areas. Wipe the excess lotion off with a towel so the patient does not have slippery hands. Watch the instructional video for step-by-step -step instructions on how this skill is performed. Then watch the demonstration video, which demonstrates this skill performed in a testing setting. When you have watched the videos, try this skill on your own.